Hello everybody, this is a follow-up video on this uh, Samsung uh, 18650 36 volt ba battery pack from Alarm Hookup on eBay and I'll put links for that in the video description below for you. Um, last uh, video we did, we checked on balancing and over discharge protection and uh, it was Mr. Harris who asked about that. And we did find that uh, there was over discharge protection and that uh, more than likely there is no balancing on this center mounted uh, BMS uh, on this pack. But again, I think it's a great value regardless. But uh, we didn't check for over discharge, uh, sorry, over overcharge protection. So what I've done here is I've taken the whole battery pack down to 39 volts, which means that each uh, cell pack of pairs of two, which there's 10, uh, are down to 3.9 volts each. And then I took uh, cell pack number nine and uh, basically I charged it up to 4.1 volts. So at this point, there's a 0.2 volt difference between uh, the pack on one uh, cell uh, pair and all the rest. So what we're trying to find out here is, is when I start charging this back up to 42 volts, whether this is gonna cut it off uh, when that uh, cell pack gets a little too hot. So basically too high in, in uh, voltage. Hopefully uh, the 0.2 volt difference is enough uh, to uh, you know trigger the protection. We'll see though. So next, let's just charge it up and see what happens. Okay, here's what we got. We got 39.22 volts on the entire pack and 4.10 volts on uh, cell pack number nine. So what I'm going to do here is just start charging it and see where it cuts off. And I'll pick up this video when I uh, see it uh, uh, cut off and, uh, you know, basically show you where the cutoff point is. All right, here's my result. I've charged it up to 43 volts. It didn't seem to make much of a difference after it got to a certain point here. I'll just start it up here. And you see it just spikes straight up to 43 volts and uh, zero amps, which means that the actual cutoff circuit on the BMS has actually turned it off uh, and no longer takes the, the uh, actual, what do you call it, charge. So it looks like the cutoff point is almost perfect at 4.21 uh, or 4.20. Pretty close. You'll see it bouncing back and forth. And regardless of the fact that I'm, you know, putting energy into it, here, hit stop on that. Okay, you see that it's set at one amp. It's taking nothing, right? But you see the battery uh, voltage is 39.29. So yeah, 4.20, almost a little bit to 4.21 is the overcharge protection, which I would say is perfect. Now let's take a look at something else here. Let's look at the rest of the batteries and see where they're at. So let's start with bank one here. helps if I'm not in the way of the meter. Okay, 3.54, 55, and let's just keep going on. That's bank one. Well that, well, that didn't seem right. Come on, let's do that again. 3.955, okay. 3.96, pretty close to what we just had. 3 3.97, 3.95, 3.95, 3.96, 3.96. So pretty well across the board, pretty even. 3.97, I mean, we're talking thousands or hundreds of a volt. 4.21, of course, that is the cell that was overcharged by 0.2 volts. So you can see it's just bouncing a little bit between 4.20 and 4.21, and so I'd say that was perfect. So yeah, over overcharge protection seems to be working fine. Let's go to the last one, 3.96. So all the other cells are exactly where they should be, and the uh, overcharged uh, cell is at 4.20 and that's where the whole pack stopped taking a charge and uh, you know I, I, I may test it a little further see if the other uh, batteries take a, a bit more of a charge but like I said you see here it says one amp and when I'm pumping it into this uh, 
charge controller here, that one amp does not, doesn't show because it's not taking it. Okay, so just shoot straight up into OK. Done charging. We got zero amps over here. I'm going to disconnect the, uh, the XT60. And you see it makes no difference. Nothing changed. So right now I've got the uh, battery pack disconnected. I'm going to pa uh, connect it again. Nothing. And back here on the battery, we should have 4.20. Yeah, 4.20, 4.21. The fact that it's bouncing back down to zero tells me that it's not taking a charge because if it were taking a charge, that would not be happening. So the cutoff point, 4.20. Thank you, Michael Harris, for asking that question and uh, getting me to test it. All right, another great result with a Samsung battery pack from Alarm Hookup on eBay. I'll put the link for that in the video description below. Uh, single cell protection seems to be working perfect 4.20 maybe a little bit 4.21 you know as far as I'm concerned that's a perfect result uh, exactly what should happen when one cell becomes overcharged the rest of the pack just stops taking uh, a, a charge perfect love that so thank you Michael Harris for asking about this uh, I really appreciate it uh, it's nice to know that uh, you know it's working correctly and nice to share it with everybody so that they know that, you know, they can rely on this thing to work right. So that's a good thing. Now, again, I'll put links to this stuff in the video description below. One more thing also, I've been, I've been I keep getting asked, do you have a good charger for this battery pack? Well, I'd say my MPT-7210A uh, uh, MPPT solar charger that I'm using works perfectly. I think it's a good uh, solid charger and it runs about, I don't know, 35, 40 bucks on eBay. Again, I'll put a link for that in the video description below. It does require a power supply. Uh, I recommend something like, uh, I don't know, 30 volts, uh, 35 volts maybe at uh, two or three amps would be good. But I'm actually using a 32 volt power supply at 1.5 amps from a uh, HP printer that I found on the side of the road, believe it or not. And it works perfect. So uh, very happy with that charger and I think you will be too. So if you're looking for a charger, use that. I think it's great. Uh, I may do some research and see if I can find you something, you know, an alternative cheaper charger that does constant current, constant voltage charging, which is another thing you need to do with lithium ion cells. You can't just stick any charger on it and say go, okay? It has to have constant current, constant voltage. If it doesn't, it will wreck them. So another thing to note. So that's it for my video. If you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a big favor and click on the like button here in the bottom right hand corner. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, it helps my channel. It helps my video and I greatly appreciate it. Also right here on the screen, you should see a picture of me. That's a subscription link. If you click on that, you'll be subscribed to my channel. And part of the process will be a bell icon that comes up after you uh, click on that link. And the bell icon is a notification icon. And basically, if you click on that as well, uh, every time I put a new video on the net or on YouTube, you'll be notified that it's up and then you can watch it at your own leisure and your own time. Once again, and like always, I wanna thank you for watching and for your time.